how we are key to agriculture in Australia's 2030 plan. You may have realised that the National Farmers Federation last year released the 2030 plan, and this is, and it says, the Australian agriculture's plan for a $100 billion industry. And uh, we've been through this, and we fully support it. I think it's great. And what we've done is try to understand how we can fit into that plan. And we think we're pretty integral to it um, because we're helping you as, as farmers do what you need to do, farm. And the key to that is, is ownership. And uh, if you don't have that, and we feel, and this is just our thesis and working hypothesis that if the next generation know they can own a farm, they're going to work hard when they don't own it because they're going to that pathway and they've got that um, drive to own it. So they're going to work hard in the meantime uh, and then they're going to be great when they do own their farm. And then there's retiring farmers out there who want to stay on uh, and see their farm be highly productive. And all these things are wrapped up around this productivity increase aim that the that uh, we have across Australia, that you need the farmer. You need motivated entrepreneurs willing to get up at 3 a.m. and solve problems when, when things go wrong. We need those people and ownership is core to that. And that's why we're pumped with what we're doing with Cultivate Farm. So I wanted just to outline uh, how we think we're relevant to the plan. There's two sections, sections four and five. Four is around people and communities and five is around capital and risk management. And we think we've got a heap of things we're doing already and hopefully plans for the future that we can um, uh, do with National Farmers Federation or other organisations across the country. Just wanted to outline what we're thinking. And if there's any hooks here, we'd love to hear from anybody uh, who would like to work alongside us and, or we work with them to boost what they're doing. Um, but we just want to show where we think we're so relevant to what uh, Australian agriculture is aiming for. Uh, and we want to stay relevant and we want to prove uh, that there are amazing farmers out there who <laughs> just want to get on a farm and own a farm. And if we can do that, there's so many benefits. So we're uh, exploring how to write a book, how to write the Farm Pathway Ownership Plan um, book for aspiring farmers, even one for retiring farmers. But we have so much content out there that we just need to structure and put into you know the, the 50, 100 page plan on how you can go about owning a farm. We think that'd be really valuable. We don't have that at the moment. At the moment you have to Google around and go to our blogs to pull it all together or, or chat to us. So we want to give that away for free. So we'd love to get that book uh, uh, up and running and out there. We need to multiply farm ownership case studies. We need, we know there's retiring farmers watching us who aren't sure that they should work with us or, or share ownership because they haven't seen a case study similar to them. So we've got to build more case studies. We've got to share stories around farmers who have shared ownership uh, and shown that it's a win-win. We need those case studies. We want to do this thing called education side hustle where we work alongside universities. So people going to university or TAFE courses, anything to do with agriculture, uh, who want to be farmers <coughs> and they learn about the theory, but they get out and they don't, they don't know how to get onto their own farm. We want to do a side hustle program where we'll teach you and encourage you to be an entrepreneur and hustle to find pathways to get onto your farm. So you'll have the knowledge, you have the book knowledge, but also you'll have that, that hustle uh, knowledge and, and confidence to go out and talk to people and find your farm ownership pathway. Cultivator, we want to run more farmer investment uh, incubators across the country and many over every year. We want to get more investors hooked into the cultivator and we're going to inspire farmers. If you think you're good enough and you are good enough, you can be backed by an investor to co-own a farm. So we want to run more cultivator programs. We want to um, outline this pathway to sharing ownership for retiring farmers and show it's possible and what the benefits are. Um, we want to run farmer incubators. We're, we'd love to have a few properties across Australia which are dedicated to training up farmers uh, and you know, getting there for two or three years learning how to run a farm well and then you know they're good enough they'll go off and lease or or go off and, and have hustled to to have a pathway to ownership love the idea of a reality tv show we've got a couple of hooks and ideas around that but we still really think that getting in there proving and showing how fun it is and you know the struggles and the trials of farming is really attractive and it hasn't really been something like that how do you go through showing the journey of someone starting a farm or, or running a farm or owning a farm or that hustle of how they can get on and own their farm but a reality tv show fantastic idea let's do that cultivate communities we want to share how communities can be their own farm matchmakers they know the landscape and people better than anyone else how do we give them the tools and confidence to go and make matches every single day so they don't have that issue of young people leaving and, and retired and retired farmers coming into town everyone can stay on the land and, and have a really productive uh, landscape um, unlocking retail investors into farms. We want mums and dads investing. There's vehicles, there's legal arrangements, all everywhere for people to co-own and invest into a farm. 
we need to build a big database of these investors so that you as a farmer can pull the pitch up and have be confident that there's an investor you can be matched with. We want to build out that list uh, and to desire, to uncover the desire from people across Australia to invest into farms. We want to do a farmland trust. We have one farmer who wants to donate their farm, so they're always farmed and, and, and work with us to back young farmers. So we're going to try and uncover that and then understand what's required there, but then replicate that across Australia. I love the idea of having you know, a dozen farms across the country, uh, which we're in control of, all about incubating the next generation of farmers, holding conferences there, having a farmer on for two or three years, rotating them through, uh, and knowing that this land's going to be farmed well forever. Uh, focused on supporting next generation of Australia's farmers. Farm advisor education, we need to educate uh, uh, advisors out there that they should be encouraging farmers to share ownership. If they are these advisors who farmers take uh, trust so much, if they're saying that sharing ownership is a good thing, that's going to lead to more retiring farmers thinking about sharing, which leads more young farmers getting in the land. And this is uncovered in this concept also around ageing on farm, which we're trying to get off the ground this year, where we can come up with the list of things a farmer needs to think through to in, enable them to age on farm so they don't have to leave if they don't want to or if they don't have to. Um, what are all those steps so that they, we can keep them on the land and at the same time attract a, a young couple or a young farmer or aspiring farmer onto that land to share ownership with them. I think that's really powerful. And National Farm Succession Planning Day, another action we think could open the doors dramatically to the number of young people who own a farm if retiring farmers even consider the idea of ownership, sharing ownership, we think there'd be no issue with young farmer um, decline and, and aging population of farmers across Australia because there'll be deals happening all the time because there's retiring farmers already open to the idea of sharing ownership. So we had a, if we had a national day around farm succession, that'd get the conversation going. All these deals could be happening without anyone else knowing, just happening everywhere and getting more young people on the land. So that's how, you know, some actions we think that can be key to realising this $100 billion industry plan that the National Farmers Federation have. We think it's fantastic. We want to be part of it. Uh, reach out to anybody who else uh, wants to support us in delivering some of those projects and anything else, anything else around retiring, aspiring investors and farm ownership, we're up for it. Uh, let's get cracking.